In just a few weeks, local COVID-19 testing sites have seen a drop in attendance and wait times are non-existent. So why continue providing these testing sites if no one's going? Fontaine Glenn reports. This was a much different scene than three weeks ago at the Bayfront Convention Center when 600 plus people showed up to get tested for COVID-19. During recent testing sites, a little over 100 people are attending to get tested. You know, people probably aren't gathering as much as they were around the holidays. And, you know, people just wanted to be a little extra careful knowing that they uh, were going to be in those, you know, large groups of people at that time. So not a big surprise that we're seeing this downtrend. Wait time didn't matter to one eerie man. I don't care if it's probably here to State Street. Just a few short weeks ago, this line stretched the whole length of the Bayfront Convention Center. Now, there's not even a five minute wait. But one local says he's thankful to have a testing site available to him. This day is going around very, very rapidly, quickly, you know, it, it be not, be not. You, you have to get yourself tested. It's very important because yeah, you, you just never know who, 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 who's, got, who's got the uh, virus. You never know. This clinic using rapid tests to confirm positive cases, but it depends on if the person is symptomatic or asymptomatic. If someone is symptomatic um, and also is positive here, we treat that as a true positive. Uh, if, you know, the, the two don't match if they're asymptomatic and mm -hmm. positive or if they are symptomatic and negative, we do recommend that they follow up with the PCR to confirm. Fontaine Glenn, Fox 66 News.